What does the Android app of the year 2024, one of the biggest social platforms and a highly addictive game have in common? They're all built with React Native. Hey React Native friends, what's up? Simon here from Galaxies.dev. Today's app review episode is going to be special because we will not focus on like the small application that you build and criticize, but instead take a look at four highly popular applications that are all built with React Native. And we're doing this not to criticize those applications today, but instead to inspire you and show you what's possible with React Native. Because after looking at those four applications, I'm pretty sure that you will also think that everything is possible with React Native. The great thing is that these applications are either created by super small teams or by super popular companies. So that means everyone's really into <laughs> React Native and no matter if your team is super small or super big, you can benefit from all the other benefits of using React Native and the latest advancements. And if you want to get into React Native because you're still not super sure, check out Zero to Hero on galaxies.dev. This is my new way of helping helping developers go from zero skills to releasing their first React Native application, understanding all the basics from styling to state management, animations and API calls and everything in between. So check out the mission and now let's take a look at these epic React Native apps. All right, so the first app is Partyful. This is the Google Play best app of 2024 and was actually a finalist for the uh, super popular App Store Awards. And it's basically a modern fun way to create invites for your party. You can already see and there's a lot of animations and stuff going on here. I probably have to close this if we want to look at the app in, in silence. So I already went through the login of this application, which brings me to this inside screen. We see nice animation here at the top. We're going to see this at all the screens is using this blurry effect and you're going to notice like it looks custom, but it uses all the defaults. So if I go up here, we got a simple bottom sheet. If I click on the notification, we just push another page. If I click on the bill, we go there as well. So all the things that I can do here are not crazy rocket science. These are things that are easily available to everyone with React Navigation, Expo Router. You see, we got some models, we got some push animations going on. We got some blurry stuff at the header, but maybe it's just like scrolling our content behind the actual color at the top, which by the way changes. I just noticed this, right? There's like this, this change of color going on. I love that, I love that. So again here, we got a cool scrollable view. That was a nice uh, switch between our main view. And I think those are the things of like micro animations that people really love. So let's try to create a new event, uh, which brings us into this view. Again, you're gonna see it, it looks fancy, but honestly, like we got a default header up here. We got whatever kind of content you put in here. Uh, and we got a floating tab bar at the bottom, which is not too crazy. But of course the things used in there are Kind of, well, not crazy, but really like, this is cool stuff, but this is possible with React Native. I can set a date, this opens, um, well, no, it's actually a good picker, I think. It, it does exactly what I want to do. So I can set a date, uh, I can add co-host. This is so much fun, I should use this my own. I just never throw a party. <laughs> it's, uh, I can add a location here, a uh, cost per person. These views, like, you could probably do some Expo uh, DOM components here because these views look kind of like, yeah, the other team can handle that stuff. Uh, I can open this going at questionnaire. This is really fun, especially like all the leaves flowing around. Uh, but all the details views in the bottom sheet, like there's no magic in here. Um, this app pretty much, I guess, lives from the great idea that's behind this application, which is like these partyful invites to any sort of like Super Bowl events or whatever you might have. So really, um, if you want to make um, app of the year for the Google Play Store <laughs> with a great idea, but again, React Native is a great choice and there's no limitation. You see, you can build a super beautiful application here 
just with React Native and the available tools. I'm pretty sure Reanimate and all the things are used to uh, like create these blowing animations or whatever's going on. Second app we look today at is Starlink. So you might not be using Starlink, you've probably heard about it. And yes, the Starlink app is entirely built with React Native. That was actually a great talk at the last FJS in 2024 from Aaron. Um, you should check that one out about the technology. So here is the application and although I'm not uh, a customer, that's actually a pretty nice way of like having this these paginated full screen views. Um, I really like that. Also like at the bottom, you're gonna notice this gentle shift here. And again, all things React Native. Super easy transitions, applying their own custom styling so it matches the Starlink brand. Uh, I can sign in, of course, I don't have an account, but there's one thing I wanted to show you. Um, so if you got one, you can like go into here and this is pretty cool. Like you scroll and it just blurs this background. I really love that, that's cool. Um, so once you get this, you can also like play around with this. So I'm doing this with my thumb right now. Uh, and you're gonna notice there are more of these animations and things included. All right, but still, this is not the most impressive part. Uh, so I really can't go any further here uh, because I don't have the device and can't connect, but I can check for obstructions, which is basically, if you have a Starlink, you can go outside and check if there are like any problems um, for the connectivity. So I will now find an open area, which is right here at my desk, and I will scan the entire scan uh, sky. So I'm ready. Point your camera up, and wee, I'm getting all these dots. Con like I'm chasing. <laughs> This could be a game on its own, honestly. And that's, I think, what Aaron described uh, also in his, uh, can I get everything? Uh, 80, 99, 100, oh, nice. Uh, it's described. So uh, they are using TensorFlow JS, Expo Camera, Expo GL, 3JS, and the custom sensor module to achieve this. Uh, but I think the results are pretty impressive. Like you've seen, what I was, that's pretty much like, um, is it called, I think that's augmented reality. That's not virtual reality, that's augmented reality. And now I get this 3D view of like interruptions in my room. So I should probably not mount a Starlink in my room. But again, that is just this smooth, this interaction, the 3D interaction that's possible, the device tilting and stuff to the sky and like collecting these views. It is amazing and blowing my mind that all of this once again is possible with just React Native. App number three is also impressive because it is built for web and for iOS and for Android. It is Blue Sky. You've probably seen it, used it. Um, it looks a bit like Twitter or X right now, but um, it is a bit cooler. And all these things, uh, of course, now it's a bit more advanced, but initially were built by one person. So one person shipped this entire thing. Um, I mean, the background, the AT protocol is super impressive. I talked with Samuel and the Rocket Ship podcast. You should definitely check out that episode if you're interested in like how they pulled all of this up. But just like being able at this scale to deliver a great user experience with React Native, I think is just um, amazing to me. Uh, if you haven't used it, because I don't know why, why haven't you used it? Make sure you follow me over there. <laughs> and uh, But besides that, like all these things, it just works like the navigation I'm, I'm pretty sure like there's some interesting inside navigations going on here on this thing um, We got this cool header thing of course, which is like many things are inspired by X uh, We got like the animations um, the shared element transitions uh, But this is so cool. We should probably do like a little rebuild of that UI uh, Let me know in the comments if you're interested in a little tutorial, but I think it's just great to see that React Native can be super advanced with like GPS and shaking your device and whatnot. And it can also be used for content heavy applications like Blue Sky. And it enables us to quickly move. And that might be the most important piece here to build even like a super small team, an iOS, an Android application, and a great web page that is still like uh, totally fine for everyone's needs. And again, React Native for the win. All right, app number four is nothing like you've seen before. It is the Voidpad game, developed by Ben Award and his team. Ben has been on the Rocket Ship podcast as well and talked about it. Super episode, really. I highly enjoy talking. You should definitely check this out. And this app is probably one of my most 
like I'm, like I, my playtime with this it's it's not good I shouldn't play it that much but just look at this all this is possible with react native this is such a great game from the animations to the gameplay to everything going on in this application it is really a perfect execution of a game so the idea is it's pretty much a bit like you got Pokemon which are these white pets initially they had the wellness app like white pet garden and now they build white pet dungeon I now got my white pets uh, I can upgrade like the equipment I can level up the void pets themselves and all of this just feels really really natural to me when you use this application I'm honestly I really love it let's quickly do a battle here uh, I usually do an auto battle because I'm that good there's even like a bit of story I usually skip that story Ben um, but these screens uh, <laughs> what's going on here yeah I mean it, it's probably can't compete with something like Clash of Clans but it really doesn't have to I really love this view and what's going on in this view I can see everything and it looks great to me and it just feels good so I cleared that floor it automatically starts the next battle and the animations are cool it's it's a game I mean it's a great game and it's built with react native it's not using unity it's not using like swift and, and native stuff here all of this is possible with react native reanimated with rife animations um and actually pretty basic things as ben explained on the podcast as well like there's no specific backend i think for this he's just using an express backend and initially they didn't even have any kind of backend so all these things that you see in this application, also the cool Tepar stuff going on, is something you could do with React Native. And this app certainly highly inspired myself to um, create a game in the future because it is just so cool to know that it's possible. You just really need to put in some work to figure out the story and like how you monetize the game, and, like the whole game loop thing. That's a different story. That's something React Native won't teach you. But everything else you see in this app from animations to transitions to uh, like all the gameplay, that's possible with React Native. All right, that's it for today's special app review episode. I hope you enjoyed this different format. Next time we're gonna review your applications again. But today I really wanted to focus on these apps because they're impressive from styling to like little animations to like general navigation in their app that looks the same like in your own application. I really wanted to like inspire people to build more apps because to me building apps is really fun. And if I enjoy these these things I'm always always more into them as well and spend more energy and time with these things so it's not really work to me to build a react native application it is honestly fun and seeing what's possible like void pad that's crazy but also blue sky you can build alone a super great universal platform that's impressive so let me know in the comments which of those applications you like the most and as well would you like to see any of the concepts of these apps let me know from routing to styling to anything in between i'm happy to dive deeper into one of those features and of course Check out galaxies.dev, Zero to Hero, your way to your first React Native app, and I will catch you in the next video. Until then, of course, happy coding, Simon.